Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'll be doing a quick little lineup update. So, first things first, this lineup update isn't complete yet. So, my team overall looks lower. I have a lot of high end cards, but I haven't filled out the team just yet. So, it might be a few little golds, but. This is what I'm working with right now, so you guys can see. I'm not going to start getting place so I have the full game of Madden, because I'm trying to be smart with my hours, you know. If, if I kill my hours now, I won't have content for you guys until it comes out. But it comes out tomorrow night at midnight for Superstar, Ultimate Superstar Edition, guys. So I'm pretty hyped. I'm going to be grinding out games. I'm going to get my level up. There's so many things that I haven't been able to do just yet. But I'm, I have a really good team, but I haven't filled it out because I can't play just yet. But I, ha I still have 23,000 points. So I plan to do probably two launch day bundles so that I can go for one of the limited cards that come out. And hopefully make a video on that if I get one. Hopefully I haven't got one since Madden 13. I've actually, no, I've been playing since Madden 13. I've never gotten one. But the team so far is pretty good. I have a lot of high-end cards. I'm going to be a top weekend league player in my own eyes. Compared, like, I'm going to have a good team. I'm, I'm pretty good at the game. I got to get used to it. I'm hoping to at least play ultimate every week. And at, at the most, maybe a few top 100 finishes this year. I placed the top 100 once last year. I also didn't exactly try as hard as I could have because I didn't take it too seriously. And I played late, late, late at night at my girlfriend's house. I'm like far away from the thing. You know, I didn't, I didn't really, I'm, I never really played every game as hard as I could. But this year I got the team, I got the packs, I got the YouTube. We're going all in, guys. So let's get into this. Oh, actually, I forgot. Let's get 50 likes in this video, guys. Every video gets 50 likes, it really helps me out. Let's just, I'm trying to hit these like goals, and once we can start hitting 50 likes consistently, we can start racking, racking it up to 100. I used to get 150 likes, 200 likes a video. So start getting back to those days. Guys, it helps me out a lot. Remember, likes and comments and everything you guys do on this video, the interactions really help my channel out. Everything you guys do. So if you're if you're a low subscriber, turn on the bell, tell, hit the bell icon, turn on noties, and every little thing you guys do to interact with my video will help me. And once my videos start getting recommended again, the channel starts booming and a lot more can be done with this channel, you know what I'm saying? So helps me out a lot, guys. Make sure to subscribe. We're at 2,220, so let's get that up to about 3,000 by the end of August. That's the goal. Now, guys, let's get into this. So, let's go to the team, right? I'll explain every position and how I plan to do this. So, at quarterback, we got Tom Brady. I had Mahomes and Brady. I had both. But, Mahomes is going for 220. And I, I wasn't sure if we are going to get him Mahomes, which it looks like we're not. I think Carello announced that already. But, Brady and Mahomes. Brady's a better passer than Mahomes. The only difference is that Brady, Mahomes is more mobile, but I try to game with him, and Mahomes really kind of feels slow to me. So, second one, Brady's a lot cheaper. I pulled him out of a pack, and when the game comes out, and it's going to be new quarterbacks, and we got to get that Baker Mayfield for free. So, you know, I'm just not, not going to be dumb. I'm going to put the coins elsewhere. Then I got DeAndre Hopkins. I pulled him out of a pack. Nat, obviously. So, if you guys haven't seen that video, go back and watch it. It was the 88 overall pull. I have like three of them, but it's the one that was five minutes long. And then we have Tyree Kill. He's a glitch. Him and Brady are going to be on Sopple. Him, Brady, and Hopkins. And then Cooks. So, for the most part, my offense is pretty much figured out. I just need a running back. But because but the running back, I'm waiting for my 21 overall level pack so I can get Saquon Barkley for free. It's obviously the move right there. With Tyreek, so I'm going to have DeAndre, Brady, Tyreek, Cooks, and Saquon. That is going to be a stellar offense. I got the guy who's unstoppable in the red zone. Literally the best probably red zone receiver right now in the game. And I'm going to have this fast guy in the league. And then one of the other fastest receivers that are out right now. And my line's really good. I have Trent Williams, Joel Antonio, Kelsey... Castro and Lane Johnson it is a solid line for now. I probably want to upgrade my left guard and my right tackle a little bit more, but for now it's fine. And then as far as fullback, I don't really care about fullback. I'll probably buy basically whenever I want to. But tight end, I don't know yet. Tight end, I think I'm gonna get the 82 Kittle out of my pack, or the 81 Kittle, and then maybe get the theme builder Kittle. And then for running back, I'm going Saquon Barkley. It's probably Saquon Barkley, Terry Cohen, but obviously I haven't gotten to that yet. See, I saw I can easily get more points, but I have two bundles coming still, so I'm waiting for that. Now defensively, guys. We're gonna have a juggernaut once I fill out the team. So let's start, let's start let's start with secondary. We got Justin Reed and Jamal Adams. So Jamal is amazing. He's an amazing card. He's fast, he can hit, and he can play zone, and he's tall. The only issue with Jamal is that I have Pat Tillman. But obviously Pat Tillman's not upgraded yet. So for now I'm gonna rock with Jamal. He's going to be an awesome safety. Now free safety wise, I wanna get either Eddie Jackson or Earl Thomas, but obviously I'm waiting for my next bundle. I don't wanna buy expensive players at positions when I wanna I'm just gonna get in the bundle first and see how I can rock with that. And as far as the corners, guys, we're going to have a lockdown secondary. We have Jamal, Jalen, and Byron, and then obviously Justin Reed will change. But Jalen Ramsey, guys, you guys think he's over? He's underrated. This card is insane this year. So I've been talking with Xerxes a lot because we've been like kind of labbing out like how these players are playing to see which are the best elites to have right now. And from what he's told me with his gameplays that Jalen's a beast and run, run stopping, like that's big. Remember, guys, like that's one thing that Jalen always has. He's physical. So he, he's not he's not like Dion who gets completely 
blocked all the way down the field. He gets pancaked. Jalen's a physical corner. You chem this guy up. He will hit all the thresholds if they have that again this year for zone and man and for press. His jumping, his speed, he's tall, he's physical. And let's see what his hit power is. Hit power is usually pretty good. But guys, his tackle's a 62, which is good because remember, this guy's like Dion who just got absolutely killed in that area. Let's see, let's see where his hit power is all the way down to 71, which is really good for a cornerback in a year where it seems like fumbles are a lot more common than usual. But guys, Jalen Rams is looking like a stud. He always is going to, but I think his price might even rise. And I got him because I got him for 189. His price will probably rise once the game drops and people realize how overpowered he is. And then Byron Jones, guys, I, I was between him and uh, Pat Pete. And Pat Pete is much, he's supposed to be an athletic beast, but Byron's just as fast. But Byron can cover almost just as good. He's got better jumping. He's just as agile, if not more. Good press. He's just as tall. His catching's only 53, but it doesn't really matter at the point of the game. But I'm going to have Byron, Jalen Ramsey, I'm going to do the ultimate trainer, Marshall Lattimore. So that's going to be my secondary right there. It's going to be Jamal Adams, Byron Jones, Marshall Lattimore, Jalen Ramsey, and then probably Earl Thomas or. Eddie Jackson, I'd probably say. Now, defensive line, it depends right now. So, left end, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have Aaron Donald for now. And then when I get Deacon Jones, I'll probably put Deacon Jones at defensive tackle or left end. Probably put Deacon at left end. Keep Aaron at right. And then that'll, that'll be locked up at the end. And then defensive tackles, I'll probably get, I'll, have, I'll keep Grady Jarrett as the two. And then probably get Damon Harrison as here. And then for linebackers, Shazier is a beast. I'm going to get this guy to 90 overall. He's over, I've used him one time. Got like three picks. He's insane, just like last year. So Shays is going to lock that down, get a decent backup. Jadavion Clowney locking up the right side coming off the edge. And then for my left outside, I don't know yet. I have Anthony Barrock in there, but I think I'm going to get the Series 1 by Miller. So that's the team. That is how it's going to look. I'm telling you guys right now, like, that's what it will look like. I'll do another lineup update after my two bundles and when the game officially launches. But it's going to be it's gonna be OP. So the positions to fill right here. Let's go. Probably Earl Thomas, Marshall Lattimore, Damon Harrison, Deacon Jones. Right here, we're going to go... Von Miller Series 1 card, which is the 90 overall, 91 overall you get from Seasons. I play a ton of Seasons in Weekend League, so I knocked it out. And then here, right now, just to fill out, I'll probably get George Kittle, Saquon Barkley, Torrey Holt's going to probably go there eventually, and then I'll probably end up picking up a lineman or two just to fill out the left and right tackle. But besides that, I think, guys, we have a really good chance to be pretty dominant on Weekend League. This team's looking good. It really, it's, it's looking good for best team i've had in a while i'm mad when i first start because usually i don't spend money and i still got two bundles like everyone else already spent all their bundles that's why a lot of teams look better but guys my team right now is easily i'm, I'm showing you how much it's worth right now my team's easily worth over 1.5 million coins no matter what other people are saying that i have no coins it is going for let's see aaron donald goes for about 250 brady goes for about brady's gonna sell for like 180 when it comes to, I'll, I'll give you guys 150 right now okay that says 120 he's gonna go i'm not selling at that price 250 150 that's probably 400 he's going for about two about 180 so let's go 580 um, he goes for 200, so that's 780. And then Javon Clowney goes for 140, so that's 920. He goes for about 60k, 980. He goes for 50k, 1 1 million 30, just about. And then he goes for 150k, so that's let's go 150, and I'll, it's on one mil. So now 150k. He goes for 50k, so that's 200k, 230k. He goes for 50k, so that's 280k, 20k, 300k. You guys, you guys get the point. These are all for like 10k after that, 10k, 20k. So like, let's round out to about 400. I have about my team's worth about 1.4 million coins, and I still have two bundles. I'm easily gonna have a team worth three million coins come the first weekend league. I'm going to be a monster in weekend league. I should get used to the game. I haven't got to play, so you know I'm a little behind. Once I get used to it, okay, I'm excited, you guys. You guys are gonna be here. I'm gonna be doing gameplays, weekend league gameplays. Maybe I'll stream. Mm. It all depends, right? So. If I'm if YouTube's my main focus. If I can grind out three videos a day and I still got some extra time, I'll probably go on Weekend League and I'll start streaming Weekend League. I'll start doing streams on there. It all depends because obviously, like, sometimes it's nice to have a little free time after YouTube to, like, really just focus on the game. But if that is the case, guys, I'm going to be getting a lot of rewards weekly. For, I'm going to be doing Weekend League weekly, so I'm going to have packs you every Wednesday whenever the packs come out. I have a ton of coins. We have big things coming, right? So hopefully, guys, all goes as planned. We get our team. And obviously, like, I've been making some connections with the YouTube community, so I'll be able to do more gameplays for you. You know, Zarek I've told you guys about, so he, he'll loan me some cards to do gameplays with. So I have a lot of things planned for this channel. I'm hoping for, so guys, these are the goals. It's going to be, let's go for, like, I want 8K subs by Christmas, and hopefully 3K subs by August. Let's just see how this goes. But things are going well so far. I'm liking it. Let's go momentum going. If you guys are still here at this point in the video and you're loyal, guys, drop hit, hit, the, hit the bell button so you guys can get notified, so you guys can watch my videos as soon as they come out. 
like the video, let's get to 50 likes in this video, and comment down below what you guys think that's changed with the team, because obviously, there's probably some players I could do a little better with, or probably some, if you guys have any suggestions for free safety, for defensive tackle, for end, drop them down below if you have a better quarterback than Brady think I should get, because you've played with him, let me know, everything helps guys, and that's about it, if you haven't already, go hit the sub button, let's try to get like 25 subs today, let's keep going from there, I'm out guys, see you guys in the next video, thank you so much for watching.